Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss about sliding window concept in SQL, especially with respect to Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse Platform. Okay. So already in my previous video, I started discussing fundamentals of window function and then eventually we started discussing on cumulative window frames, where we have discussed two very important window. One is basically current row. And before the current row, whatever rows appeared starting from beginning, okay, that we can define with rows between unbounded preceding and current row. That is current row and from the beginning of the table, whatever rows are there, okay. Then another option for cumulative window can be rows between current row and unbounded following. That is current row and after the current row, whatever rows are appearing in the table, that you can configure with this particular clause, okay. Now, this particular discussion will be on sliding window. So, cumulative window mostly we focus on current row and before that, whatever the complete stuff or current row and after that particular row, whatever happened, that complete stuff. Okay. But this time it will be sliding window. How? So, like if you consider this particular array and suppose I am telling this sliding window size is 2. So, initially the window will contain only 100 and 200. Okay. So maybe you can apply sum or any aggregation. So for that window, you will be getting the result 300, 100 plus 200. And then next time the window will slide little bit and the next time the window will cover 200 and 300, right? So you will be getting 500. And the next time it will be covering 300 and 400. So you will be getting 700 like that and so on, right? So that is nothing but concept of sliding window. Now if you want to apply this particular concept with respect to SQL, the syntax is very simple. So rows between we have used, earlier we used unbounded preceding and current row. So instead of that, you can mention how much preceding rows you want to consider. That is how much you want to go before the current row. Okay, so with respect to current row, suppose I want to go 5 rows before. So you can mention 5 preceding. Okay, and you can mention how much row you want to go after the current row. Okay, that is suppose I want to take only 3 rows after the current row, so your clause will be rows between 5 preceding and 3 following, like that, okay. And then obviously you can play with this particular clause with all possible permutation combination, preceding and following. Not only that, you can add unbounded preceding, unbounded following also in it. Like for example, rows between unbounded preceding and in preceding or following. Like for example, the requirement is, if you are in, suppose one particular current row, before the current row, whatever rows was there, all you want to consider. So basically your clause will be row, rows between unbounded preceding. Because before current row, everything you want to take. And after the current row, you want to take only 3 or 4 rows. Then you can say, and 5 following, like that. Okay. So like that, you can play with this particular window from where you want to start and where you want to finish. Similarly like that, you can go ahead with in preceding or following and unbounded following. Like for example, the requirement is if you are at the current row, before the current row take three rows and after the current row take everything. So your clause will be like this. I will copy this one. Okay. And I will place that here rows between maybe five, five preceding. Suppose you want five rows before the current row. And all the rows after the current row, so you will be writing unbounded following like that. Okay, so I hope from this sim simple English intuition itself you can understand SQL. That's the beauty of SQL, right? That from the English words itself you can understand what is the range of the window. So like this you can play, and this is nothing but sliding window concept with respect to the window function in Snowflake. Okay, now let's go to application. So basically first I will drop a database Ramu, then I will create the database, then here I will use the database, I will create the table and then here I will insert some data, okay, and let it insert, so 7 rows got inserted, now if I do select start from this table, we will be getting this, okay. Now already in our previous video we have seen first dense rank, so as you know that whenever you are specifying any window, Obviously, order matters, right? Like before current row, whatever rows coming, after current rows, whatever rows coming. Based on that, our calculations will be dependent. So overall, always you should remember that when you are specifying the window related operation, you should be using 
that order by class whether you are going with cumulative frame or whether you are going with the sliding window whatever okay so already in this previous video we have seen this one as well that is unbounded preceding and current row that is basically nothing but giving us the cumulative sum and now let's see the sliding window concept so if i do select star we are having this data now observe this query select employee id department id and salary comma some salary so basically for the window whether that is sliding or whether that is cumulative we are just taking sum as aggregated result for that window values over order by employee salary as i have mentioned that order by clause you have to give then see rows between one preceding and current row okay that is how we are computing the sum in the window that is current row and before the current row whatever appeared based on that you compute the sum and then print that result set okay and the alias name we are giving as test so let's execute that and let's see how it is working so if we execute we are getting this see 12000 because before 12000 nothing is there this is the first row so we are getting as it is okay then next value is 13000 so what we mentioned in the window operation that is one preceding and current row so current row is 13000 before that the row is having value 12000 so 12000 plus 13000 it will be 25000 right then you see 13500 so before this 13500 there is 13000 so 13000 plus 13500 we will be getting 26500 like that okay then you can play with this particular sliding window like you can mention order by employee salary rows between two preceding and current row so how it will be computing the employee salary sum in the window there is current row as well as before the current row two rows it is taking to compute the sum Okay, so if I execute this, you will be able to see. See, 12,000 it is coming as it is because before that, two rows are not there. Before 13,000, only one row is there. So it is just taking that only and it is giving 13,000 plus 12,000, which is 25,000. But if you observe this 13,500, you will see that it is considering current row as well as previous two rows. So 13,500 plus 13,000. 13,000 which is basically 26,500 plus 12,000 that is nothing but 38,500 right. Similarly if you consider this 14,000 row how it is giving 40,500 40, it is giving basically 14,000 plus 13,500 plus 13,000 which is resulting into 40,500 like that okay. Then similarly you can play with following as well. So not only preceding, like if you consider this particular clause, order by employee salary rows between one preceding and one following. Okay, that is what we want. Our window should be current row. Previous to current row, one row we are considering and after the current row, one more row we are considering and that we are executing. So if I execute that, so you consider anything like for example, this 15,000 fellow, before that 16,000 is there and after that 14,000 is there. Okay, so 15,000 plus 15,000 if we take 1,000 from here and add up here so 15 plus 15 it will be 30 plus here more 15,000 will be getting which is nothing but 45,000 so that's why we are getting at 45,000 like that okay so I hope you are getting it how we can slide the window based on how much we want to go in the uh, above the current row and how much we want to go below the current row right so all these course I'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section. These are also very important interview questions. I hope you enjoyed this. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share, and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.